Hi there. Welcome to our Pets Academic channel. Today, I'm talking about the topic, how long can a poodle's hair grow? If you are new to our Pets Academic channel, please subscribe. You can also like and comment on our videos so that we can get to know you better. Consider reading the full in-depth blog post I have written on this topic. You can find it by going to the link in the description. So, let's dive in. Poodles are active dogs that need plenty of daily exercises to stay healthy and happy. Grooming is also important for this breed. Their signature curls grow long without regular trimming and clipping. Standard poodles can grow their coats to be anywhere from 15 to 20 inches long. A poodle's hair, on average, grows between 0.5 and 1 inch per month. How often should you brush your poodle's hair? It's important to brush your poodle's hair regularly in order to avoid matted fur, skin irritations, and excessive shedding. Brushing should be done at least once a week, but ideally twice or three times. It's best to use a slicker brush with metal bristles and an undercoat rake. These are the most effective tools for removing and preventing mats. What are some benefits of having a long-haired poodle? Number 1. Low Shedding The long hair on these dogs helps to reduce shedding, making them a great choice for those who suffer from allergies. Number 2. Hypoallergenic Because of the thick coat and lack of oil glands, poodles are naturally hypoallergenic. This can help to make them more suitable for people with asthma or other sensitivities. Number 3. Adaptable Poodles are great at adapting to different environments, making them easy to train and fun to have around. Number 4. Affectionate Poodles love to cuddle and show affection. They make a wonderful companion for those who want their pet around all the time. Number 5. Versatile. Poodles come in a variety of sizes and colors, making them a great option for those who want a unique pet. In the full blog post I have written on my website, I have done hours of research and I have written much more details about the above topic and subtopics. The blog article is more than a thousand words, and I dive into each of the above topics, covering many more questions around them. Just click the link below, and you can read all about my research on this topic. See you inside the blog post and let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below. Have a great day, and thank you for checking out PetsAcademic.com.